Hello everyone, welcome back. Got another episode here. Uh, this one is the laser bore cider. Now I already opened the box, not much to it. You just open it. And so um, the reason why I got this is because um, I've been using um, the the uh, laser G sight and I've been looking for something for the rifle, um, but unfortunately, uh, what I wanted was the Mantis Blackbeard, but it's not available until like June of 2020. Uh, right now, we're in a global pandemic, so I needed something without going to the range and shooting off ammo because there's an ammo shortage or panic buying on ammo and guns. I need something that I can sight in my my rifle and so um, this pouch comes from AR500 if you haven't seen my Testudo Gen 2 and Testudo Lite I did a review on that and very nice so this is my this is this is my uh, Taurus G3 uh, as you see in here there's my laser G sight this is what I use for training and uh, I'll probably do something similar with um, with this, but really what I wanted was the uh, Mantis Blackbeard. Um, it's able to work with your AR-15. The battery goes in here. You remove the bulk carrier and put in the laser system bulk carrier that they have, and you're able to just pull that trigger. It's on. It's on lock, but you're able to pull that. Pull that trigger and get a laser coming out similar to this concept here like that uh, i like the taurus gun because the restrike capability you don't have to rack the slide to reset the trigger this is a striker fire uh, you can do that with a hammer fire but and the reason um the reason why i like using this is because it's almost the same size as my glock 19 and that is my carry gun and so when I fit the holster for my AR-15 Testudo Gen 2, and I fitted the holster uh, around the Taurus, I know it'll work with the Glock 19. So, so that's the reason why I'm doing all this. Um, originally, I wanted the Mantis Blackbeard, but they don't have it yet. It's not in stock. It's probably coming from China, like like how this thing. Pretty much came from China. You see that made in China. Um, so, I, but I do need something. Um, I don't have a, a rear sight on this. I'm getting a rear sight. I've been using a lot of different optics and scopes on this. That's why I don't have anything here. And moving it around on my other rifles. So uh, I, I need. I'm gonna be getting a, a rear sight. But the problem is, every time you move an optic, move a rear sight, a move. A scope um, you have to set it to to zero technically now the the issue with the rifle is distance so um, when and I'm gonna move this around here so when the bullet when the bullet leaves right when the bullet leaves the barrel the way your rifle is set up Okay, the way your rifle is set up, uh, because of the way the sights are set up, I don't have a, a sight here, but imagine there is a sight. Uh, the way your sights are set up and where the barrel is, it's kind of lined up like, or I should say like like this. If you really, it's, it's lined up like going, the barrel is kind of lined up upwards. Your sight is lined up going this way if that makes sense. And so uh, what ends up happening is your bullet your bullet <laughs> leaves the barrel actually makes a lobbing just doesn't really do this but I'm exaggerating it lobs the bullet to wherever it goes. So um, that's the first issue and the problem is how far you are depends on the point 
of impact? Is it going to be here, 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 or here? So if you're 25 yards away, um, ballistically, okay, if you're 25 yards away, it's about the same impact point, okay, same impact point as about 100 yards away. Because at some point at 25 yards, it's hitting, and as it's lobbing and coming back down at 100 yards, it's hitting about the same place. So uh, that's one way you can do it. Ultimately, what you really want to do is you want to go out to the range. You want to shoot whatever, you know, manufacturer of bullets that you use uh, because they'll all act differently. And, um, and uh, zero it to, to that. But because we're in a pandemic here and most likely ammo is hard to get, so you don't want to waste ammo to zero in your rifle. And also, uh, you just don't want to be out. You probably don't want to be out and about as much. Okay, non, if you're not going to work or doing things uh, that you need to do, you don't want to waste or expose yourself to uh, the coronavirus. So uh, this is why I've gotten the laser bore cider. And plus, I am going to do something else with this. I'm going to still train with this. I'm probably going to use it uh, to follow the dot, so to speak, how I would do it. Uh, holding a rifle for a long period of time uh, works works out your shoulders and your back and your arm more than you think or you realize. Um, then put on some body armor and uh, hold up this rifle, moving it around. Um, you'll be surprised how tired quickly, <laughs> how quickly tired you really get. So, uh, so I am still going to use it for training, for I guess following the bouncing ball. That's one of the things I do other than the actual laser dry firing that I do with my pistol. If you haven't checked out some of those videos, very fun to do, very fun to do. Saves a lot of money on, on ammo. I probably saved uh, over tens of thousands of dollars on ammo. I, shoot, I pull that trigger quite a bit. So, uh, so there, there are some issues when you're using bore ciders, and you, you have to realize the limitations of, of how your rifle works and how your sights work and don't forget on top of all that your 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 sights and your bore are offset as well so you gotta remember that as well so anyways so let's go ahead and put this in so it's really simple I opened up the package I already took out they give you six you only need three batteries if you look here it says minus and it says plus and there's three little marks here see that three little marks well there you go it's so you put the minus on the bottom plus on top so the button side is the the button side is the minus the flat side is the plus so just one two three let me see if it there you go you already see the laser going in and then just screw on the top. Okay. So the lasers, the bore siders, they just stay on. They're not like the laser G sight where you hit the back of it and then it emits a laser. So uh, there we go. So let's go ahead and load one in here, shall we? Uh, let me go ahead and let's see if I can do this on camera or there we go. So you set the bolt back, all right, set the bolt back, put the laser bore cider in here if you can, all right, and I guess you can just go ahead and just release it, just release it, there we go, it's released. Make sure your bolt is fully set in, and then there you go, there you go. Now you have a bore cider, so you can, uh, now I don't know how accurate it is. I'm assuming it is very accurate. It's centered and everything. Now I can go ahead and uh, sight it in. I can also uh, practice, like I said, I, got, I, I have a thing where I do the bouncing ball, so uh, this will make a great training tool to follow the bouncing ball hold it like 
holding holding this with a loaded magazine and holding this you'll be surprised your arm and your hand and your shoulders your back gets very tired it's a great training tool um, let me go ahead and just pull this out now all right so let's pull the laser out so a laser just pops out just go ahead and pull the uh, bolt and it'll sh it should just pop right out there it is pops right out there we go very good there, there you go that's it that's all it is all right there you go nice little tool very useful um, I plan on using it for a lot of things uh, right now I just need to sight it in and right now I'm just gonna sight it in vertically um, or the for elevation uh, for about 20 I don't have 25 I might have 25 yards so um, you know at 25 yards it's about the same as a hundred yards so if you could sight it in at 25 yards you should be okay at a hundred yards uh, ballistically speaking uh, of course it doesn't mean it's 100 percent accurate but it's better than not sighting it in or zero or nothing because when you get your rifle if you're if you got a brand new rifle if you're a new owner uh, a, lot of, a lot of people are panic buying um, your rifle is not set at all uh, you have to uh, you have to zero it in and uh, again depending on the distance it depends where your point of aim and point, point of impact is going to be uh, very crucial to understand that when you're dealing with the rifle anyways I'm going to uh, go ahead and conclude this episode please check out my other videos check out my um, AR 500 uh, Testudo Gen 2, Testudo Light uh, body armor review I did or unboxing. I'm still working with it. Uh, go ahead and check out my laser dry firing videos with the Taurus G3, mostly with the Taurus G3, um, mainly because of the restrike capability of the gun, restriking. I don't have to rack the slide to reset the trigger it does that and that's why I got the Taurus G3 um, and another again another reason is because it's practically almost the same size as my Glock 19 so when I fit holsters okay I know this is a gun that I train with there is no live ammo it, there's only the laser only the laser uh, G sight in here so if I ever accidentally try to load an ammo or bullets in here it wouldn't load because it's blocking the chamber and so I know when I look at this as oh Taurus gun it's just my training gun but I always please always check the <laughs> always check always check of course always check assume that a gun is loaded all the time and so uh, check out my laser dry firing videos save tons of money and it's fun to do fun to do anyways uh, please like uh, please like, uh, sh share the video, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, everyone, thumbs up. Bye.